In this video, you are going to learn temperature conversion. But first of all, what is temperature and how we define temperature? Temperature is the measurement of how hot or how cold things are. In the future, you will learn about that is the measurement of thermal energy. But let's see how it is defined. Since water is abundant, important, and readily accessible, so scientists use water to define temperature. As for pure water, under one atmosphere, ATM, the freezing point of water is defined as zero degree Celsius. That's the freezing point of water. And the boiling point of water is defined as 100 degree Celsius. So that is the boiling point of water. And in between, there are 100 grids. So each grid will be 1 degree Celsius. So let's put it this way. If this is my thermometer, and over here is my boiling point, that's 100 degrees Celsius. And over here is my freezing point of water, that is 0 degrees Celsius. And there will be 100 grid, small grid, like this. Each grid over here will be 1 degree Celsius. Okay. Let's talk about how the gas will behave. When a balloon is hot, it usually expands really high in volume. If we try to cool it down, how it looks like, it will shrink a little bit. So what we are doing is, we want to see the relationship between the volume of the balloon as to the temperature in Celsius. Okay, if I cool it down even more, it shrinks more. So what happens if I keep shrinking, shrinking, eventually it will go to somewhere where the, zero, where the volume is zero over here. However, we cannot reach that point because we don't have a very good refrigerator to cool it down so low. So what the scientists can do is they extrapolate this line and they find out at which point that the volume will follow the trend and then become zero over here. And the scientists look at this number and they say, hmm, that is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius because it has the sole special property because at that temperature, the volume should become zero and therefore they defined that temperature as absolute temperature. So define this as zero K. K is Kelvin, the scientist who discovered this. So absolute temperature means the balloon can shrink to zero at that temperature and there is no temperature that can be lower than zero K because volume cannot be negative. Okay, so we have different units of temperature and how do we convert them? And by the way, in the United States, we do not see the temperature in Celsius that often. So how can we convert Fahrenheit to Celsius? And how can we convert Celsius to Fahrenheit? Of course, we also need to convert a temperature to Kelvin. That's the absolute temperature. Okay, so let's look at some examples. This is the formula to convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's say the freezing point of water is zero degree Celsius. Let's see what that is in Fahrenheit. Okay, so by looking at this formula, I can tell that temperature in Fahrenheit will be equal to 9 fifth times the temperature in Celsius, and that is zero degree Celsius. I'm just following this formula here. After that, I have to add 32 in it, what I will get will be 
this part will become 0 and that is 32 Fahrenheit. That will be the freezing point of water. Let's try to find the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit. What we said before was boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's plug in this number. So the boiling point that is equal to, so this is a freezing point up here. All right, so 100 multiplied by 9 by 100 and then plus 32. So let's see what we get. We have 9 divided by 5 times 100 and then plus 32. What I get is 212 Fahrenheit. So this is the temperature of the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's do some exercise and try to see how we can convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. In this case, what we can do is the temperature in Fahrenheit. I'm just trying to solve this part over here. So it must be minus 32. How can I isolate the degree Celsius out? Okay, so we need to multiply by 5 and then divide it by 9. So that is how to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. Okay, let's look at an example. Let's say I have a fever today and my temperature is 102 degree Fahrenheit and I want to know what temperature that is in Celsius. Okay, so we put it here. Just plug in the numbers 102 minus 32 and then times 5 divided by 9. Let's see, 102 minus 32, so that is 70. Then multiply by 5 and then divide it by 9, I have 38.9 roughly. So I have 38.9 degrees Celsius. Well, at least I know what temperature I have without going to work. If I measure myself with a thermometer, if I see this number, I'm going to stay home. Okay. We can now convert Celsius to Fahrenheit as well as from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So how do we convert Celsius to Kelvin? From what we said before, over here, zero degree Kelvin, it is the same as negative 273.15. That means in, if we want to calculate anything from Celsius, to Kelvin, we just have to add 273.15 to it. That's what you are seeing over here. For our purpose, because the temperature, our thermometer is not accurate anyway, so very often you will see that we only add 273 to it to make it easier for the calculation. Okay, so let's see. How about um, I would like to calculate room temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius. And I would like to know what that is in Kelvin. Okay, so I plug in over here, room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. And I have to add to this number. So room temperature, it is 298 Kelvin. That is room temperature in Kelvin.